My name is Palacent Marine and welcome back to Hemicraft Season 9, Episode 35. Welcome back, cleaning lady here. But before I properly get to business, enjoy a quick in-between episode clip of me poking Gem. A one trash raccoon at a time, I say? Pearl? I'm a statue. What you doing? I'm a statue. She doesn't see me. You're a statue? Me. She doesn't see me. What are me. you doing sneaking around my base? I'm frozen in time. Yeah, I'm a statue. Decoration. Ow! She's I, alive! My, my, my cover has been broken. I mean, you didn't have very good cover. What are you talking about? It was the best cover. It was a decorative piece to your base, Jim. <laughs> Anyone would be grateful about a decorative pearl piece to their base, you know? Good you lady. stand out. You're, you're an original piece. Thank you! Valuable, right? Yes. Don't go silent on me! What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Staring at your chest and cringing. Oh, you don't like my chest room? No, I don't. You said it wouldn't evolve into a chest monster, Jim. Well, it's not a chest monster. First of all, let's get this straight. The chests are very organized. It's clearly a shulker monster. That's even worse, Jim. They bite. <laughs> Have you seen the teeth it's, on these things? Like, look at this. Look at that. Look at those big teeth. Pearl. The chests look great. And you're littering. I see that too. <laughs> these are terrible. What do you mean I'm littering? That was a great. I had grand. to jump out. Yeah. You can get over the fence without having to. What do you want from me? That. Do you want some chicken? You get to be professional. <laughs> okay, never these mind. are very professional noises. I probably have some coffee Still, in here. Still, I rate this a negative two out of ten. Negative two out of ten. Negative two out of ten for your shulker monster. You Do need you want to fix me to this. get organized. Yes, but it's so hard. It's so easy, Jam. It's fantastic. Oh, 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 okay. I like the look. This one's got soup and a dragon head. I feel like that's extraordinarily organized. Ah, right, soup. I'm eating your soup. This one's got gold armor. Yeah. Soup. Acacia logs, stripped birch logs, why quartz you... slabs, an iron sword. But why? That's the peak of organization. Jim, it's the worst. And what, how it's is this? Can you explain? Peak organization. Explain your organization. Oh, explain it. This is definitely the result of a soup group adventure. Okay. Yep. Yep. So are you saying it's a uh, history? So, I don't, you can't tell me you've had this since the start of the season, Jim. I have. Um. So. <laughs> What has happened here is that is a memory. Oh, sheep, hello. Oh. Uh, it's a memory box now. It's a memory box. Oh, I see. So you can organize that. You can take this box. And then you put that in the... Um, in... Uh, in... Um, um, in the not die pearl This must the hurt. Box. I've gotten two axe It must hurt. Me. It must hurt. Please don't you kill must be close. Lady. I do good on the How many server. do I have to... <laughs> put my shulker backs back. I put it back. I put it over here. Where? There's a hole. Right here. Oh my goodness. It encourages you to clean it up. This wall had 71 empty ones last be time. For tools there is a armor. hole in your wall. Where? Right there, oh, behind, yeah. behind your chest. <laughs> you see, now, if it wasn't such a mess in here, you'd notice that Do your you house was me? <laughs> Um, I, I don't... You know that perfectionist thing that you have? Yeah. I have the, whatever the opposite is. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible combination. I don't, I don't have it. Jim, where's your I don't get it. I saw I a don't box. relate. I, I, I'll fix my it for you. My prismarine goes over here. This is my prismarine. See, okay. see the block on top? Okay, yep, yep, yep. Well, I fix your hole. There we go. You may have noticed the pink sheep that Jim was breeding at this point, as her next build project was a giant cherry blossom tree. You know, I thought I'd save her some time and give her some spare pink wool I had sawed, and, well, you know, it turns out we had actually made a motivator for her to clean her base, and she was almost done by the time I got back from getting said wool. Hi, Pearl. Dang it. She saw me. <laughs> I was low-key hoping to sneak in and just watch you from afar and just like wait until you organized everything because well, apparently I'm you're really organizing, productive. so you would have been proud of me. I am. I am very proud, but now you're you're stopping. My right? only mildly proud though, because now the chests are a little bit unorganized. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's getting a little chaotic over here. But a little more organized than your shulkers, no? Look at her go. This organized. This She's is, on a roll. This is organized. 
Who can I get? She's just, and then this one. She's that one's cleaner. organized. That one's wood. Actually, it's being clean. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, this look. one, that one's just prismarine. Look at the gem. She's doing the organizing. This one's just quartz. This one's already organized. She's giving it to the cleaning lady pressure. All I gotta do is, is bring a lady some pink wool and she'll organize everything. Okay, give me the pink wool. I've earned it. No, you got three more to go. Five more. No, 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 no. no what's no, in those? No, these are horrible. I'm not doing those. Jam. Nether. Make a proud cleaner lady. <laughs> I don't on. like this one, Pearl. I believe Jam. There's <laughs> barely anything in it. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't like it. It's this, hard to sort. I can't is, explain it. It's just hard. There's a few tiny items. Come on. You got this. You got it's this. It's hard. Come on. You're doing the thing. You're, you're on, fine, Jeff. On, you're on, fine. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Cleaning lady rating is going. Oh. <laughs> am ah. I am cleaning. See? Now I'm you're so telling. clean. You don't have your hard hat on. I'm so clean right now. I am the cleanest cleaner lady that has ever cleaned. Oh, yes. Absolutely. You're doing fantastic. We're going to ignore that it's not <laughs> safety compliant. Slowly but surely, we are cleaning up the server. And if that means bribery, so be it. Speaking of cleaning, I stumbled across a particular tweet the other day from Sky. Let's just kind of plop that one up on screen. I gotta say, I'm in a roller coaster of emotions from being proud that the bin is being used to sobbing in a pool of absolute tears, seeing all those floating items just sitting there unclaimed so we need to address this newfound problem immediately because this this yeah th no that's bad that's bad that's super duper bad the fabled bin oh my gosh right let's give this thing a look and see how really bad it is because judging by the tweet uh, okay yep yep that that yep okay you know what that is pretty junky <laughs> definitely is being used for what it's been made for but who's throwing out an oxidized copper block well we can't exactly say who here but who who would throw out an oxidized copper block come on scar that's valuable what are you throwing out those for but okay my gosh i'm gonna have to give myself a uh, another sugar box to store all this in rip 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 all right well let's do this cleaning lady thing and get this emptied out Ugh. Oh my gosh i forgot the hoppers would be filled with junk as well <laughs> oh my gosh did he just there's a hot guy bow in there. Okay, well that's gonna be irreparable, surely, right? You're not surely he's not throwing out a perfectly good hot guy bow. Oh blimey! Ooh, three chipped anvils. These are gonna be handy for my base. <laughs> of course I'm gonna put it into all oh, a lot of the stuff in the twinkly trash too. But the main problem I'm finding, like with this type of system, is that of course everyone's giving me like one block of a certain type, and it kind of makes it really hard to put that into the trade shop because no one's gonna trade for a singular block of polished diorite. That is the one flaw in my system. So it's it's kind of deciding, you know, should I really benefit from this system at this point? Like, cause I don't know how valuable I can make this stuff to be able to even put it into Twinkly Trash for people to even use. I feel like it would just sit here for the entire season. I need a third chocolate box, my golly goo. Okay, if we just double check the hoppers here. Yes, perfectly empty, lovely, lovely. And barrels also fresh and empty and the rubbish has been collected. Although it's, it's not Friday. It's not Friday, but it seems I have to come back a little bit more often for Scar. Maybe make some new bin collection days, specifically just for one hermit. Okay, okay, look, I'll be straight with you all. I didn't really think people would use them all that much. <laughs> but Scar has surely proved me wrong there. And it's maybe time for a new garbage can design. We did have to move this thing behind me anyway. As you know, a couple episodes back or so, Scar had mentioned moving the bin to a new location up top. Specifically, he mentioned this general area right over here by his own sorting system that he doesn't seem to use very much because he's too scared to because he doesn't want to break it. But he did mention that we could put a bin in this lovely spot right here. And honestly, it's quite a large spot for us to use, so it's a pretty good idea. This is a perfect rehash to what we have going on. We might as well do it while we're here. We are definitely going to need some double chests for this one because my gosh, he's going to fill all these up super quick otherwise. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, so we have a green box. It's very mossy right now. I'm probably going to change that, but we're also going to need a trash can lid and some nice decor on the sides of this thing to make this, of course, look nicer because Scar has a really nice area right here and I don't want to ruin it with an ugly trash can. Ba -ba 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 Push the button. Yes. Do, do. Oh. And now all we need is just a little bit of dye. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I'm, eh, I, I'm, I'm out of glow. I'm out of glow squid ink. Mm. Hello, pretty. Boop. Gee, I'm a glow squid. 
<laughs> well, I don't actually know what sound a glow squid makes. Huh. Well, that's a dilemma. Anyway. Squish. Squish. Ah, beautiful. And you know what? As much as we have built this bin, I feel like we're going to add some uh, some lovely like little green surrounds, right? To go with our theme. If we stick in a little bit of moss here, right next to the bin. Some on this side as well. Some mossy cob for that wonderful uh, transitional block. And a little bit of andesite to ease it and kind of fit in with scar surroundings too. Drip leaf, because they're always fun. No, no, I was going to put some grass down, but I I've come to realize that I can't put the grass down with the signs and the buttons there. Gosh darn it. It is fine. That looks kind of cute though. I think I think that works. You know, that's not too shabby. It definitely is a lot bigger than the last bin. And I gotta say, trying to make a garbage bin, a small scale, is is, is pretty difficult. And it, it's a unique design, you know? It's it's not completely like a perfect garbage bin, but I think it does it. And for the safety of Scout filling it up, I have added two rows of double chests here. Now, of course, the hoppers are all separate, so they won't kind of like filter properly or evenly between all of them, but at least there is two rows of double chests for each section. So I'm hoping he won't fill it up too soon, or you know, maybe he'll fill it up and we get all, all the goodies, right? Because that, that's how that works. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's how that works. But with this one done, I feel like I need to check the other bins now. <gasps> Yay, look, I just checked the one with Jevon and Jev's got stuff in it. Ah, uh, Jeb's been using it. Oh, brilliant. And a free shulker box as well. And a lovely little bundle from the card game. And a full stack of grey wool. Oh my god. And spruce logs. Jeff, that's valuable stuff. Wow. Jeff, I'm so proud. Do you know what else I'm proud of for Jeff for? Look at this. Like, this must be a, an area for a project that he's currently making. But look at all this. Look at this prime organization. This is absolutely fantastic. And a little bit ago, I ended up reading the storage. So just like gems. Yeah, I gave it, I gave it a rating, but this one, this one's a 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, Jeff, I'm so proud. Oh, they grew up so fast. I'm so happy. All right, so I checked the other cans and there wasn't anything else in them. So Jeb and Scar at the moment, absolutely on point with using the bins. And I'll have to check those ones maybe a little bit more frequently. Unfortunately, though, I have no idea what to do with the stuff at the moment other than add it to my own storage. And I feel like that was kind of against the whole premise of the thing. It's just I don't know how to sell singular block items. Let me know if you guys have any ideas what we should do there, or if I should just put it in my own storage room. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to call the cleaning lady business done for today. And I think now it's time for us to move on to the building segment of the episode. Between episodes, I did decide that I wanted to expand the hospital a little bit more. And I'm definitely having fun creating a little bit more visual functionality in this place. So what I've done is I've done just a little bit more digging behind these doors here. And I've taken on note some of the suggestions from the last episode that we could have waiting rooms, surgical areas, offices offices, all that kind of good jazz. So what I was thinking while I was digging this out, I'm going to have to move this beacon a little bit later, but for now we could have some offices just in the middle section here, you know, where you can look through as like blinded slatted windows or something and just in the hallways, I can have those in the middle section there and in the in off to the side here is where we're going to have the first operating rooms. This is also where I admit that I've been watching a TV show that is pretty much based around hospitals, so I've kind of gotten some newfound inspiration. And from this TV show, something interesting that I had learned is they had a kind of teaching hospital. So for graduates that have just gotten out of their courses and they were ready to move on into the field, they brought in new staff who were underneath what they called residents and residents were teaching. And during this time, they had kind of an observation room above the operating table where they could sit there and watch the whole operation and learn things and study and see what they have to do for them to be um, surgeons as well, which I found really, really interesting. So I'm kind of going off that same premise here that maybe if they were studying things from the outside world, that this is more of a teaching hospital in that realm. They're really, really going to support it. So yes, we've got an observation room up there. The table is going to be here, surrounded by a bunch of equipment. And this particular room here is going to be where they wash their hands and do all that kind of jazz and make sure they're sterilized before going in to work on the patient. There was also a really fun suggestion from the community that we could turn this whole area into an escape room so these interiors would actually be used for something other than storytelling and I really love that idea obviously I'm not going to implement it straight away but it's something we can definitely put into down the line for now I just want to focus on getting the interiors happening and then I can kind of you know maybe edit them later 
later on to what the puzzles might be. Just like the rooms out the front, I have another operating room on the other side that's pretty much exactly the same. And you know what? What we're going to do today is we are going to build these together. We're going to walk through the process because I have no idea what I'm doing. First things first, the roofs and the walls. One thing I really love to experiment with that you guys might have probably learned by now is the undersides of work tables or different unique blocks. Like this is the cauldron here. We got the smithing table. That is the stone cutter. The composter, which I didn't even really think about so much before. Hi, Mr. Zombie. And that's an even more, it's, it's an even like different texture than the underside of a barrel, which I found really interesting. I've never really thought about it that way before. We have the uh, furnaces and there's also blast furnaces down here too. And of course the beehives. And they're such unique textures, which makes them really fun for floors or ceilings if they happen to work. But yes, the one I liked the most for creating a ceiling with is this stone cutter right here. I think it keeps the really nice gray dingiest feeling of the hospital while also being pretty clean and honestly still keeping that kind of odd texture resolution compared to the rest of the blocks around it. But I think it works in this case. You can kind of see I've started with the stone cutters so far on the roof and it's looking pretty nice, but we got to get this finished. So let me just kind of, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to back out here. I'm just going to back out. I'm going to just throw in this stone cutter and that's going to multiply on the roof, right? I'm just going to close these doors. It's going to be just fine. I'm going to like do a little twirl, a little spin and... We'll be back again, right? And we're doing a little dance and oh, there we go. I think it's done. I would say it's done and oh, well, there you go. We have the ceiling of stone cutters right there. And yeah, what I find really interesting with these stone cutters, of course, is when you place them down, they can be placed in different directions and that includes the texture underneath. So we do have a bit of a variation in the pattern here as well. But okay, that is the ceiling in. Now the next stuff we want to do is the floor. And I'm thinking for the floor, we do have to go some sort of white block so that uh, in the hospitals, they know where they need to clean. Start that off with a little bit of white concrete here. And we also probably want some dirt of some kind because of course these, the, this, this floor has probably been here for a while and it is definitely going to be very far from clean. There we go. Ah, speed diggy! Ah, speed diggy! Oh, a giant hole in the ground. Oh dear. Bloop, bloop, doop, 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 doop. Boop, doop, 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 doop. Definitely a bit of diorite and andesite for our transition block into the white. And we're going to rough up that floor again with a little bit of the calcite like I'd used in the other rooms because that seems to work pretty well, not keeping it too smooth here. Okay, so we have the base idea of the floor going on. I think there is a little bit to be desired in some spots, but let's kind of start working on the rest of it. Now is time for the walls, and I, I reckon we can probably match the rest of the hospital in the way that. And I have the copper, the, you know, the, uh, the gray, light gray concrete walls and the dark prismarine on the base. I think that should do the trick. Chuck a nice first layer of prismarine down. Whoopsies, I'm putting holes in my, in my hospital. <laughs> okay, there we go. Put this one in. Okay, layer number one in. And I'm thinking the next layer we can potentially use is some warped planks maybe and see how that one turns out. Starting here, <laughs> block placement, yes, block placement, all the way until we finish the room, yes, 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 yes. Bum, 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 bum. Beautiful, easy, done, row two is in, and you know what I found out is that, of course, this is going to affect the hallway outside. So I suppose this hallway is going to be a little different from the entrance zone because I have, of course, used the planks instead of the copper, but we can kind of make that work. This is going to be the surgical ward after all, although I will have to figure out this issue because that room right there is one of the... Uh, one of the bedrooms in the, the front section directly there. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to split that somehow. Yeah, we'll work it out. All right, next stage, let's try putting this light gray concrete in. Although I believe this is all I have left. I'm going to have to make a little bit more of that, but I'm sure that's fine. I have plenty of sand and gravel. Do -do -do -do. Okay, so we got kind of a one wall example about what it could be. And I'm feeling like we need a couple of trim blocks, maybe on the top and potentially the bottom. Maybe another gray stone. Let's see what we have. Actually, you know, what if we end up doing polished andesite? Although I'm going to have to make a few little more pieces of that, but that's fine. I think polished andesite could potentially work here as the bridging block that we need. Do, do, do. Okay, how about this? Does that work out? Uh, maybe? Maybe kind of works out? I don't, hmm. I'm a little undecided at this point, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of feeling like almost moving that up a level, but at the same time, not. I mean, this could work out if we do more of the room. Debateful. All right, I'll do the rest of the room and we'll see how it turns out. Jump, be jump, be jump, be jump, be jump, be yes. 
Okay, there we go. The wall has been placed in and as you can see, I've already changed a little bit as it was. I think it just felt maybe too clean before. So what I've done instead of separating them is I have mixed in the textures instead there. And of course, I've added a little bit of andesite into the walls itself just to, just to roughen it up. Just all about the texture in this style of building, I think. And it, I, I just think it kind of works out a little bit more and, and brings in more of the general atmosphere that I'm going for. But right. Now that we've got that done, oh, also I did this room too and added stone brick for the floor to separate from that one. But yes, okay, so now that that's in, I think the next thing we probably want to work on is maybe that room up there. I'm thinking for that area, we can probably go for more of a woody feel this time. It kind of separates it from the room itself and kind of adds a bit of a, I don't know, like visual magnetism to the area. You know, focal point is what I was going for there, but that kind of came out that way. So yes, we can kind of go for something a bit more brown and woody instead. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, do, 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 do. There's a bit of granite. Ba, 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 do, do. Okay, so we got a bit of an orange and brown type feel in there. I'm starting to feel like maybe I, I might be over texturing things, maybe a little too much, but maybe we can contrast it with, of course, the basic patterns on the ceiling and maybe we can clean up those chairs a little. What blocks are we thinking here? Maybe we can use the composter. The bottom of the composter might be perfect in the situation. Okay, let's see how this looks. If we place these ones uh, facing upside like that. Ooh. Interesting texture. Is it? Is it? Is it a good? Is it a good one to have? You know what? Yes, actually, I might kind of like it and sit with it for now. All right, let me finish up that roof. I do enjoy that these aren't directional. And then we can, of course, also place in some spruce slabs around the edges of the ceiling just to give it a bit of extra shape and to clean up the zone a little bit. All right, let's take a look at that. How about that? Okay. You know what? That that's not too bad. I'm 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 kind of okay with that. But the next dilemma we have is the chairs. How's about some smooth sandstone? Yes, I think that works quite well, actually. Some plants in the corner too might be quite nice. And we've got to get the floor changed. Aside from lighting, just the final touch for this room is the glass here to separate the surgical area and the watching zone. Okay, right, we have that. It's not too bad. It's not quite like the, the complete vision I was going for for this particular area, but some tweaking can be had over time and maybe I'll come up with a slightly, slightly nicer touch just to fix some of the issues that are in my brain right now. But this is working out. We need some lighting in that zone. I'm thinking yellow shrimp room lights but we also have to do this one as well and I'm thinking that can be one of the last things we chuck in. At the moment let's work on the actual surgical table and now we can definitely use the same type of gurney that we built in the other rooms with the scaffolding block which I think I had. The string and the iron trap door. That one there. And then a little carpet right on the end here just to give a bit of angle to the thing. Oh, I need to, whoops. <laughs> this one also needs to be carpet here as well. And there we go. That's kind of our gurney in the middle of the room. Now we need some like small tables surrounding it for any utensils. Working on a smaller scale is definitely going to be harder from this standpoint. What if we use some upside down stone stairs for the tables instead? Yes, this works. Out. And we can even have some item frames down here too that we can stick some of these tools in. I was thinking maybe even like a little armor stand can look like some kind of tool in an anvil. I don't even know, but now we can also trigger invisible this and uh, that should look like it's just sitting on the table ready to be used. Maybe we can get some of Cleo's special armor stand work in here later to make this all look a little bit nicer, but that's an interesting start. Okay, another thing we need is machines to let them know that the patient is still alive. Ah. Billy Transition Pearl is back because I got carried away in the interior. Oopsies. At this point, this room is pretty much the last one left that I've kind of got to do because, yeah, like Transition Pearl just kind of shed there. I, I, got a little, I got a little carried away and kind of just kept adding some little details here and there. It's actually really difficult to kind of get the details of, a, of an operating room in this kind of situation I, and i'll be honest as well interior like i'm still learning how to make tiny details out of things and making screens is uh, very difficult I've, as i've found out actually i have an idea what if we grab some item frames and also some gray stained glass and seeing as stained glass technically usually takes up the entire item frame what if we kind of did something a little bit like that and then trigger invisible that uh okay it's it's not <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
it's not as uh, strong as I was going for, but it has a concept. You know, there is a, there's a little bit of concept in or merit in the thought. I don't know. Okay, it's, it's a little tricky, but definitely can probably use a little bit of armor stand work. And you know what? I'm just also going to stick a little button on the side here because operational, right? That makes it completely functional. It does things. <laughs> but yes, we have the room here. And I also did the lighting up in the observational room with some frog lights and trap doors there. We got a little table with the sea pickles that they've been experimenting on or pulling out of people. Gosh knows what. We have the cupboards where they keep all the extra supplies the really badly made monitors. I ended up putting a little like head block here as well for the uh, the fletching table because it kind of looks like it's got some tools on it. A couple of the other plants as well on this table and I added some shelves with just some more little things that they've been messing around with in the operating room. I know that's not, it's not particularly accurate entirely but you know the, there's there's some kind of ideology to it. Oh and of course I did the, uh, the light also coming down over the top of the gurney here because they need that to be able to see and I also really like how the light centers on the middle of the room over the top of the gurney in particular because I think I think that's that's more realistic in that sense so it's got something going for it and I also ended up adding a bit of a stone uh, smooth stone trim around the floor of the room and I think it kind of neatens it up a little bit and takes away from the messy texture that's just absolutely everywhere but just then let's pop into this room here and of course I've added these cauldrons because that's where they're going to be washing their hands I did want to put in some tripwire hooks over it, but having a window here kind of uh, causes a bit of an issue with that one. I don't know if I really want to put them like above the cauldrons. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but you know, actually maybe I'll just leave it there. Who knows? And to be honest, I do need a little bit of lighting in here as well. I'm going to go grab some sea lanterns because I think those will go pretty well on the ceiling alongside some iron trap doors, potentially. And there we go. Okay, I think that works out pretty well. It's a cute little like wash hand washing room and you walk in here into the operating theater. I, I don't mind the design of this. I think we did okay. It was completely on the fly and hoping for the best. So who knows if I decide to tweak it later, I tend to kind of go back and mess with things as I think of new ideas but yeah not, not too bad let's see what it looks like from the viewing section yeah that that's pretty cool actually I, I gotta admit like sitting up here watching the operation go on and you can even see the monitors from here as well although I think they aren't supposed to have their own monitor up here so they can see it a little bit easier but um no I, I actually quite like that not too shabby not too shabby at all of course the hallway is looking pretty worse for wear or ugly but that's something we'll work on again at a later date or I'll do it between episodes. Who knows? Well with the surgical room now complete and the cleaning lady duties taken care of for today that is actually going to be it for our episode. I know the last few episodes have been a little bit on the kind of like slower pace side but I'm just taking my time lately just going through some small details and also giving myself my my brain a little bit of time to think about what I want to do for some bigger things in future episodes. But let me know what you think about that. And if you enjoyed the episode, let me know down in the comments below. But I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful weekend, a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, that was a messy start. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Have a good one.